UO, this is the methyl cell project, and one thing that you should know is the controller. Now the, the actuator might not be able to actuate less than 10 degrees, 10%, I mean so you, if you want to move, for example, 5, you should go 15 and then back 10. Okay. So one thing also to know is when you're collecting data, it ta it's actually pretty fast. It gets up to steady state in less than two minutes. So you may not have to do many days of getting data to get enough for this, pro uh, for this project. Right. And in this project, you'll be dealing with hydrostatic pressure and not shear forces. So to account for that, you can look for an equation in the Transport Phenomena book written by um, Berg. Okay. So tell me, just give me a quick overview of the experiment. Like, what are you trying to do with this, the objective? All right, well, the, the objective of it is that you have a question, basically, that the company wants to know is if they can use an old piping system, and they want to see if they can pipe through the methacel through it, and they're worried about that the pressure will be too high and it'll kind of blow up the, the piping they have. So the question is, from this experiment, can you figure out if they change the flow rates that the pressure might be too high for the, the old system? Can you use the old system or do you need a new system? And so in this experiment, you're gonna need to figure out basically a nonlinear formula through that book that he just mentioned to try to figure out what the pressure would be um, at higher flow rates. Can you show me the equipment back there? Yeah, so um, this right here is the mixing tank. You'll need to start the mixers ahead of time, so at least 15 to 20 minutes before you even think about using the equipment. Um, get those, it's easy to start, there's just a little switch to just toggle on. So do you know why you start it early? So one is to kind of get it to mix a little bit uh, better, but I guess the, the best way is with, when it's fully mixed, you can, it starts moving the mixtures, and so when it goes to the pump and the system, I guess you just get like natural flow. Not concentrated on yeah, the bottom or something. Exactly. Okay, great. Okay, tell me what else is going on here. Um, so we have our pump here, um, and then we have a valve that switches between the large and the small um, diameter pump uh, pipes. Um, and so that is running from the um, from the tank through the pipe, and then back recycling through back into the tank. So it's a circular system um, that you're just measuring, measuring the pressure differences um, between two points along these two pipes. And the flow rate right here. Okay, very good. Any other tricks or things uh, you, this is really helpful, you know, the valve was... One, one thing to know is that below 30% um, of the actuator, so the actuator, by the way, is this one right here. It's a it's pneumatic, pneumatic actuator for the valve, <clears throat> which you get to operate on the little controller that they have in the computer is below 30%, it will start going to zero. And so you want to watch out as you get closer to 30%, it's going to start cutting off the flow rate to zero. Yeah, it just wanes down. And you'll see that when you start collecting data. Just keep that in mind.